Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial that looks at using Adobe Flash CS6 in order to create an animation. So what we're going to be looking at in this tutorial is we're going to be looking at making text change colour basically well, with individual letters. So if I play this from the beginning I'll export it by doing Control and the Enter key. Something basic like that but really it's very very simple, can look effective but you could choose um, any colours that you want and you could make this look really a lot better by perhaps putting um, a stroke around the, around the letters just to make it look a bit better. So it's important to know that with this, the easiest way to do it is actually first of all, if I do a new document, let's, let's keep it on the white background. So the best thing to do is insert your text so that it comes onto frame one. And I'm just going to put ICT to keep this short and simple. So obviously we know that we can't necessarily change individual letters yet because this is actually text. It's not a vector or a shape. And we can see that on the properties. So what we can do here then, I can align this to the center using my alignment tools. I'll use control K just for the shortcut and I'll put it to the center. Now, this text currently is as big as it's is as big as I can get it. So what I'm going to do first of all then is I'm going to break it up into a shape or a vector. So I'm going to do Control B once, which we've looked at before, and then Control B again to break each part of that text up into vector shapes. So what I've got now, if I highlight the text, and select all of the letters in the word. If I go to the freeform transform tool, what I can do, I hold the shift key to keep the letters all the same. And there we are. Now I've made it a lot bigger. We can do that because it's a shape. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to insert a keyframe here. But first of all, I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to have this one here as blue. I'm going to make sure I choose specific colors so I can remember where they are. So I'm going to keep the blue there, a nice bold blue. I have red next, and then I'll keep green there. So that's what my first frame looks like. So what I want to do next, in the next keyframe, I want the blue to move to the C, and the red to move to the T, and then the green to move to the I. So I'll insert a new keyframe by pressing F6. But I'm going to do this here. So I want it to be um, about 10 frames that it stays on this particular scene before it moves on to the next one. So F6. And then I will change the letters. So I will change that colour there to green. Choose that green there. Then I'll change the red or the C to my blue colour, which is there. And then I'll change this to the red colour. And so I'll do the same again. I insert a keyframe 10 frames later. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to change this to blue. I'm going to change the C to green. Oops. I'm going to change the I to red. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to insert a keyframe there. F6. So now if I play it, you can see exactly what it does. And if I export it by doing Control and Enter, you can see what it will look like when it's finished. So then, what we could do now is when we export the video, it will just constantly loop as an SWF file. But if we want to export it as something else, like a QuickTime or an AVI, just as we will need to if we want to put it into a PowerPoint, we will need it to play a certain number of times. And the easiest thing to do here, if I control click and remove that keyframe there, what I can do, if I highlight these, or let's say I click on the very last frame with anything on it, and I hold shift when I click on this key there, on keyframe there, there we are, it selects all of it. And what I can do then, if I just scroll back to here, I can control and click, or right click if you're on a PC and I can copy frames. Then I just click into the next available frame and I can right click 
or control click if you're on a Mac and paste frames. So I could do that again and again, do that to there, right click and paste frames just so that it repeats itself. As you can see, it's a lot quicker than having to go through and do that process every single time. So copying and pasting the frames is a nice easy way to do it. And this effect can look good. I take more time over it than I have and use slightly better colors, but mine were quite bold just for this demonstration. So that's how we can use that. But remember, this is for essentially a frame by frame animation and you must break the text down into a vector shape first.